Hey everyone, we're back again for another CanGeo Education slash I2P video and we're here with Gary. Uh, today we're talking about plant life in the Namib Desert and I'm going to take off, Gary's going to take over. We're talking about the euphobia. We've got some kilometers we still need to cover this morning. It's all up to you. Enjoy. Okay. Well, what Ray was talking about, I'm going to point out to you here, this, uh, these plants, this is the Euphorbia damarana. It's called damarana because this is northern Damarland. We're in the Palmvag area, one of the wildest parts of the whole country. We've got desert rhinos, lions, elephants in this area. All Euphorbia plants, all Euphorbias are, are poisonous. Um, but these plants, these are the damaranas here in, in northern Damarland. Uh, it's one of the plants that the desert rhinos have adapted over thousands of years to be able to utilize. They can actually browse this plant without, uh, without any ill effects. Desert kudus also a little bit. They, they tend to nibble on the, on the branches. The poisonous latex that comes out is white milky uh, liquid. They're able to, uh, to take that and they normally spit the leaves out again afterwards. The rhinos also, black rhinos here, they'll sometimes use these almost as a bed. In the heat of the day, they'll get on the on the, uh, the shady side of the plant, and they'll lie down in, in the euphorbia and use it as a mattress. They get covered in all this white latex and uh, this white sap. And uh, one theory is that this helps against the parasites. You get all this poisonous stuff on. If we get this white liquid into the mucous membranes in your eyes, your nose, your your mouth, or, or if you cut, um, you do one time, you might not get a chance to do it a second time. Um, so we don't play around with this plant. Any, any plant that has a white liquid, you've got to be uh, a little bit uh, careful with. Uh, we've got another Euphorbia, which looks more like a cactus. This is Euphorbia damarana. We have the Euphorbia virosa, the cactus-like one. That one is what, the one that the, uh, the sand people used to use as a, as a poison for their arrows. It's that effective. So uh, good for the rhinos, desert rhinos. The rhinos in Itosha probably wouldn't be able to eat this, but the desert rhinos can and do, and so do desert kudos, Euphorbia damarana.